Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Have you ever think how you can create really interesting graphics in Dynama? For example, you have really a lot of the data, but you want to use it, you want to show to your teacher, to your client in Dynama. Like you can do, for example, in Rhino by Grasshopper or you can use in some other um, applications. So now you can do this, uh, these things all in Dynama. As you can see, we now able using some graphic style to show your data, how it's working and how you can use it and where you can download. I will show you in this tutorial. The first I want to say thank you to the Alpha Rock who share with uh, these notes. As you can, you can go to the GitHub, you can download from there or you can use, for example, mm, just going to the packages you will find here the search for the packages and here just write the charts just enter wait a few seconds when uh, synchronize the server and you will find not model charts download it and that's it you can use it okay once you will finish that i will show you how you can manipulate with the data Again, as always, I will start my new project. So let's start the new project. Here it is clean project without anything. And we will start, for example, from the, let's start from, for example, with the index value by uh, line pilot, uh, plot, sorry. As you can see, we have here the three series. We have like three columns with the labels, values, and colors. So what we should do the first? Um, the first we should connect the our names, for example, I don't want to use the series, series 2, series uh, some, I want my own. So how you can do that? You have, you have a lot of the ways, but you should learn from the My Dynamo 2 course, uh, just watch my videos and you will understand how you can do that. Or just follow me in this tutorial, just double left click, you will get the code block and let's write, we need the, uh, the camels and let's create the my just string name let's say this will be my name uh after that uh, will be uh like i don't know john and after that will be mm, i don't know duck okay so we have like three names let's say as you can see, if I will open up that, you will get the list with three different names. If I will connect that to the labels, nothing happened. Yes, of course, because we should now connect the not only dates, we should connect the values and colors. So only when you will combine everything, the node will be work. Okay, so we need now one more code block. Let's create again, just double left click. I will use the, mm, let's use the math random i just want to just random uh, random uh, numbers that's why i'm using the math random list so and let's create the uh, math random list with the list okay so and we need the uh, brackets we have the brackets and let's write like mm, x uh, y and z so we have like three different numbers x y z it means like one two three so we have like nico john duck and this will be like nico john duck so it will be it will be work like that so and after that just finish it and you get now three different uh connection to the sliders or to the numbers okay let's uh use the slider for example it's even useful for us here is the slider and let's connect the slider for example to the x let's create one more slider let's connect to the y and let's create one more slider let's connect to the z now as you can see it's working let's check it out what's going on here as you can see the one list it's 0 0.6 the second list 0 0.2 and third list 0 0.3 as you understand the nico will get 0 0.6 john will get 0 0.2 and duck will get 0 0.3 so and how now to show it on the inside the graphics easily you you just should connect code block to the value Let's connect. Again, nothing happened. Why it's nothing happened? Because we should create the colors. It's waiting when we will create the colors. Let's use the color palette. Color. 
with the, uh -huh, here is our color palettes and let's use the black color uh, the second color will be mm, I don't know like a blue one and the last color will be you just can open up and use different one and let's say green one and now we should uh, connect that like one data like one list again right click list and we will get here the list create let's make three connections one we have we need two more like one two three let's connect here here and here let's check it out what's going on here as you can see one color the second color and third color so let's um have a look what's going on here we have three columns here we have three columns here and we have three columns here so now let's connect this list to the colors and voila we get the data uh, let's make it more interesting because it's now not more interesting now you have uh, sorry now you have uh, more data as you can see and more data and as you can see the graphics working i'm using the math random because i don't have any input data so if you have any input data i don't know like the list some uh, calculation from the uh, stairs or something else you can connect it to the x y or z but i don't have any numbers because i don't have any geometry i don't have anything in my dynamo that's why i'm using the math random uh, dynamo will automatically create the numbers so the random working just like this creating automatically numbers just to show you up what's going on here okay this is our first graph congratulations you can now manipulate with this graph the same thing if you will use the different charts let's use for example the bar chart again here is nothing as you can see the names it's just data i want to connect again my names and some other people i want to connect my data and i want to connect my colors and voila we will get oh here it's a lot so let's make a bit smaller number and smaller number because here it was a lot of the numbers and that's why it's uh, cannot see what's going on uh, now you can see the different data you can see here is nico here is john here is doug and then interesting interesting thing if you want to understand how the working list in uh dynamo uh i should make the big tutorial for you if you're interesting about that i will do that but right now i will show you the other thing for example here you can see the john it's the blue one but let's say i want to change the blue to the nico so what I can do, I need switch the colors between the, for example, me and uh, and me and me again. <laughs> Let's connect this one to the zero and this one to the one. And what's going on now? The blue color it's me. The black one it's the John. So if you're interesting about the list and how manipulate that, just leave a comment, like, share, everything. Just leave a comment and I will understand I need to create the big tutorial about the lists in Revit, in about Dynamo. So and the interesting thing here is the pie chart. So I really like it because uh, now after this pie chart, you can uh, immediately understand what's going on in your data. Let's connect color to the color and name to the name to the labels but value we not will connect why because we have only three numbers but here as you can see by different list we have like a lot of the numbers total eight uh, uh, 400 so but we need only one and one i will copy just this block i need only this block and what i will do I will do interesting thing i will work with the index uh if you don't know what is it index don't worry uh just let me know and i will do the big tutorial about the index in revit so what we what we will do now now we need some data so let's make the data for example we no need this code block oh sorry Control z i will delete this block as you can see i have three numbers here we need make it like a one list so again we need the list and we need three connections one two three let's connect to the one let's connect to the two let's connect to the three and let's see what's going on here three numbers and let's connect this one to the value we get the value and it's really interesting it's really nice working it's a bit animating you know like uh, uh you're working in ios and for example you i want to change the data here and as you can see nico is the best but nico is actually like this not even not like this <laughs> uh, maybe maybe like this 
Okay, as you can see, it's working and it's automatically changing the uh, piece of the pie on the chart and you don't need control it, you just need to imply your data. Here inside the uh, nodes, you have really a lot of the different things. For example, you have the like a uh, hit series, you have like uh, the scatter plot, it's really interesting and you have XY pl plot uh, too. So, as you can see, you can buy this interesting note, create really interesting the graphics in your Revit by Dynamo. If you find this interesting, uh, I will use the, this thing in the, my next tutorials and maybe I will show you like in a real situation where you can use that. So, the comments, like and share. Thank you and see you soon. To support my channel, you can go to Gumroad, check that my store. There you can find bottle of this Dynamo scripts or you can buy two-story complete house or even the two-story residential classic house. By this way you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.